Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. This is Gal Tuba. I'm back with another Pika card reading for all of you. And today, topic will be who is coming towards you in love? Um, who will be your next relationship with? Uh, or maybe there is someone who's coming back around. I don't know what will come in your reading. This is definitely a prediction, it's a live reading. Um, and we will see that who is coming towards you in love. So keep an open mind when you're watching this video because anything is possible. Maybe I descri I'm describing the person that who's trying to, you may be already interacted with that person. You may be already dated. This could be your ex. This could be someone from your past. This could be someone like an old fling or literally it could be a new person. I don't know. I'm just going to describe the person, your relationship, your dynamic, how you will meet this person, when your relationship is going to start and how you will know that he or she is the one because i'm going to tell them about uh tell you about uh, your uh, you know the person personality and characteristic and your relationship dynamic and all that stuff okay so this reading is all about who is coming towards you in love who you're going to fall in love with who you're going to date next this could be your next relationship this could be someone special that's coming into your life who knows this is someone who you are going to get engaged or committed to or even in long-term partnership with so keep an open mind for this reading it's a general reading not your personal so don't take it personal um but yes you can book a personal reading with me everything is given in description box you can reach out to me my instagram my email address and my uh, tiktok uh, everything is given below be careful from the scammers and fake accounts because these days everyone is trying to use my name and picture so be careful i'm not going to responsible i will never ever going to contact you by any source by any media okay you are the person that who's going to reach out to me if you want a reading with me triple two charo tuba okay so Let's start the reading. You have a three groups in front of you. Choose intuitively whatever the group is calling you. I'm using the keys today. That's a different type of keys, different style of keys and color. So choose intuitively whatever the obviously uh, the couple card is attracting you, but also the themes, you know, the keys here, because I feel like this is how the, the universe or the spirit and God is opening the doors for you for new love, mm, like a special love coming your way. So I definitely there's a special love in my mind. So this is someone who is going to definitely stay in long term for in your life uh, like you are literally it could be soulmate or twin flame that's like special type of love is in my mind that's what i'm reading for okay so the first group is about silver key number two is this gold and number three is this beautiful blue and little bit dark uh darker uh you know key here so choose intuitively whatever the group is calling you i already pre shuffled some oracles card here i'm going to use for each uh, group we will also use charms um to see basically if you can get anything more extra about this person so let's go there's a lot of things i'm also going to use my you know the answers books so stay tuned for this suspense and surprise because i'm going to ask the question about this relationship too okay so let's start the reading and don't forget to like share subscribe hit the notification bell and please let me know in the comments if it resonates even though if it's not it's okay just let it fly maybe this is not for you so let's go let's start the reading hello group number one welcome if you choose this beautiful silver you know um, the key here welcome on your reading we're gonna do your reading here like who is coming towards your love who will be that person all that detail um from this oracles card i'm using uh let's see i'm using intuit oracles card here okay and i'm also going to use the intuit uh tarot deck okay so you're gonna see it. the link is given below you can get 20 percent discount uh of, on this purchase from my special link that is given below so let's see what's happening uh, who is coming towards your love? Group number one. We have a romance. Oh, Cupid's arrow strikes. And that's what we're asking for, okay? So I feel like, um, first of all, you could be 23 years old or 32, or this person could be. This is very specific thing I channel. Some of you, you could be 40 plus. Uh, now, what I'm seeing with this energy here, like the, if, if, if you don't have anyone in your life right now, or you don't have a crush, you don't like anyone, you're just literally single watching this video, when this relationship will start, you're not even going to think about it. Like you just gonna fell in love with this person because it's like a Cupid's arrow. It's like you're not planning, you're not prepared. For some of you, you're not even prepared. You're not even planning for love. But this is how this, is how this Cupid's arrow is going to strike you for romance. Mm, for some of you, it could be love at first sight. And there's others of you, this is going to be a very like hot and passionate dynamic here. Some of you, if you're a woman watching this video, you're going to fall in love with this person first. Uh, our feminine energy, okay? Let's say feminine energy. If you're masculine, even though you're a woman or man, it's a gender-free reading here, okay? Do not fix on this. Um, so feminine energy is like very hot and passionate and very like, 
feminine energy is falling loud in first okay now let's see more we also have the boundaries here okay so some of you you really already made the boundaries here in a relationship you're not you're looking for something serious you're looking for something like let's say long term you're not going to settle for less honey so that's really good okay that's really good sign um some of you this person could be born into a dog here uh, because I'm, I'm just sharing the dog here maybe this person has a pet as a dog uh, are more than pets because I'm seeing the old I'm also seeing the tiger so this person could be born into a tiger year of Chinese a dog um, another thing I'm picking up for some of you you could be from Middle East or this person could be like Middle East countries um, or you could be from that place or maybe you have a roots you have a foundations you have uh, some type of a, you know your ancestors okay your grandparents or something like the roots are coming from you know Middle East or this person could be from that place now another thing I'm also picking up this person you could be from Egypt Morocco I don't know I'm, pick, I'm picking up now these countries are coming in my mind or this person could be from Egypt Morocco um, uh, I'm also picking up like you know like Saudi you know like Saudi Arabia um, you know all these um, Middle East countries um, you could be from that place or you could be even from Afghanistan Iraq Iran Misr um, uh, I don't know there's a lot of countries there so yeah you could be from that place or this person could be from that place like there's definitely some ancestors or roots are there it doesn't always have to be now I'm also seeing a lot of you you could be a tarot reader light worker healer you, you have a lot of knowledge you have a lot of wisdom you have a lot of experience you maybe even literally have a short hair um, okay you could be practice some type of a you know like some type of um, ancestral things or you maybe have some type of a talent okay if you're watching this video definitely you are connected with the spirit more uh, you maybe also do some stuff you know like a new moon full moon type of energy here uh, you may be manifesting this person on full new moon and whenever this person is going to reach out to you or when you will meet this person it's like something new is happening like new moon uh, something new in your life okay some of you your heart is really really like you're really you you put your shield towards your heart like you're really really making the healthy boundaries here you're not you're not allowing allowing anyone to destroy your heart to disturb your heart to you know even break your heart because you're really looking for something serious or someone serious you're very strong woman or man whoever you're watching this video you're very strong like you have a really strong spirit or guiding you or watching over you you maybe have a very strong belief system religion or practices whatever you do okay now let's see uh, this is your energy okay now but I'm getting up uh, now let's see who's this person that's coming or entering in your life I know you want to know that we have the ninth house and we also have the conjunction yes here you go this person could be from a different country than you or you could be living in a different country and you're going to meet this person there i told you this person or you maybe have a different belief system you both have a different upbringing this could be someone who just uh could be um you know when they were they were a child they were a child or you were a child maybe you just shifted your family your parents and your family shifted into a different country or this person has a migration okay this person's family has migration I don't know another thing I'm picking up this person maybe travel a lot for their work or business because I'm getting with the 9,000 energy like this person has experienced uh, a lot of culture um, I'm also picking up this person could be a mixed race like they could be coming from a two different culture maybe their parents okay they're mixed or you are mixed okay another thing I'm picking up here now I'm also saying with the ninth house here definitely is talk about seeking it's about knowledge it's about wisdom it's also about foreign travel so you're gonna meet this person when with a conjunction when you are traveling somewhere for your work for your even your business or family trip I don't know it could be personal it could be formal um, that's how you're gonna meet this person but this could be also some even literally could be for a adventure or trip that you're you're going into a different country you want to explore that country you want to explore that exp you know culture and you're going to meet this person there this person could be in a travel guide they could be in airport they could be in management they could be in system like you know managing some something um on airport okay this person can help you in this way or through uh, or maybe you are like a, this person could be in a travel agency or company for some of you or maybe yeah, this person is like that. Now we have a ninth house energy. This is this is someone who's definitely. I'm also picking up. This could be uh, two different things. Either one, this person is like in a different culture, culture or country, foreigner background. Like this person is totally foreign to you, a different country and background, language, all that stuff. And others of you, this person is the same culture, same country, but the living could be in a different place. Are you gonna meet this person into wherever you are you are living? So basically, you have the same roots, but. You're living in, in like a different places. You have a different upbringing. 
that's what I'm saying, okay? Let's keep moving forward. We also have the ninth house. For me, it's like a very spiritual, spiritual belief that is going to part a biggest role in your relationship. Okay, this could be, a, a, you know, like a very like a traditional type of relationship or let's say through your spirit or religious way. Like one of you could be very spiritual, other could be very religious that type, of, a type of a person here. But we have the conjunction. It's definitely talk about combines. So it's like you're going to be very compatible. You're going to meet this person when you both are meeting each other on the perfect time, right time. Okay, um, on a definitely divine timing. You're not even maybe expecting, but you're going to fall in love with this person. You both are going to respect each other's uh, belief, culture, religion, tradition, roots. Um, especially this person because I believe this person have a lot of experience. They're very open-minded also with the 9th house energy here. Like they could be highly educated. They could be in a, you know, like, yeah, they could be very highly educated. Uh, they could be in a business or travel or maybe they travel from one place to another because of their business. This is also someone who could be coming from a high background, like highly educated background, okay? Their family or even they they, they are, their siblings or even themselves, themselves, he or she, is like they're very highly educated. Like they have a definitely degree of something. They have a professional degree too, even for some of you. Now let's see what we have. We have a clouds. Uh, we have a king of wands here. So yeah, Aries Leo Sag energy. I'm picking up Sagittarius. Life path number nine, yours or this person. I'm also picking up Mars energies. This person could have a Mars in Sagittarius. So they're going to be very passionate, very excited, very enthusiastic type of a person. He or she. Um, they're going to bring you a lot of passion and, and adventure. Like you're going to travel a lot with this person. Um, we have a thoughts, problems, doubts, uh, hesitation, beyond view. Yeah, I feel like in the beginning, um, either... You're not going to be, for some of you, you could be meeting this person online. Maybe that's why it's long distance. Um, so there will be a cloud, like this person is not going to be sure if this is going to be work out or not. Or maybe you're not going to be sure, like, if this is going to help or not. I, that's what I, I feel like there's also some misunderstandings there in the beginning or some indecision. Indecision could be about, like, shifting one place to another. Now, another thing, we have a fish here. We have this king of pentacles now. Whoa, we have a two kings. So some of you, this could be a same gender sex, and others of you, this could be talking about, you maybe have options. So maybe that's why. Okay, this person could be a Pisces, even though it's a king of pentacles, like Taurus or Capricorn, but I'm making a Pisces. We have a fish. Resources, finances, investments. Yeah, this is definitely someone who is like, uh, have a big plans. This person may be literally on the company. They could be an entrepreneur. This person could be 34 or even 30, uh, 40 years old, or you could be, or 36, 9. I'm picking up a 30 or 40 plus type of a person. Uh, does not have to be. It could be literally 50 or 60 plus. I don't know. There's a definitely every age type of people is on my channel. So just take what resonates. Uh, this person's life path number could be 7, 3, 4, 6, and 9. You could be also seeing uh, 69 angel number. That's talk about soulmate. You're going to see if you are the person I told you like more uh, wiser, more connected with the spirit, source, God, angels. Um, and spirituality, then definitely you're going to see the signs like this person is coming. Or this is someone who is the answers of your manifestations. Like you're going to know that this is your person. We also have the moon here. Here you go. Definitely talking about new moon and full moon. There's something going on on the full moon here or moon here, moon cycles. For some of you, I don't want to say it, but you could also maybe, like there's definitely moon cycles here with this person. New moon, full moon, new moon, full moon. There will be a lot of ups and down in this relationship because I can see the clouds and this all uh, night here. You may be going to meet this person at a night time. We have intuition. Yeah, intuition, subconscious, fantasy, romance. Yeah, this is like a dream come true. This is the romance of your life here for some of you. It's your soulmate with a lot of moons here, feminine energy here. I told you feminine will fall in love first and the divine masculine will be maybe in the in the beginning will be very confused okay i'm not talking about men i'm talking about masculine okay so you know better whatever your energy is whatever you carry yourself with feminine or masculine energy more um, but i'm also picking up the now this person could be 32 or 23 or, or even 43 or 34 for some um, now divine feminine we have okay so this person could be a divine feminine doesn't matter male or female they definitely could be very intuitive they would definitely connect with the source subconscious mind there's also recognition here. There will be some cloudy or some type of a confusion. For some of you, it could be in the beginning, there will be a deception. There will be some type of misunderstandings, a cloudy situation between you and this person. But eventually, you will get a clarity in this relationship with this person. Okay, for some of you, you're going to meet this person um, through your work or business uh, or when you're traveling. I'm also seeing bodies of the water. So this person could live in a different countries, uh, you know, um, across the bodies of the water.
let's keep moving forward for more like um your relationship dynamic and all that stuff about this person now let's see we have the cleans yeah so yeah i feel this is the relationship that is going to demand from both of you with this all new moon and full moon cycles like you really need to clean and trust your intuition on this connection mostly um we also have doubt and and uh, indecision wow that's coming second time doubt and indecision so there's definitely this could be someone that you could be currently in a, some type of a situationship with but you never dated with each other um or when in the beginning when you will meet each other there will be a lot of doubts and decision like uh look at this like we can be together or not it's going to work out or not you know a lot of questions because it could be a long distance or you could be totally different from each other we have nine yeah another nine so you could be seeing nine 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 is also talk about completing karmic cycles so ending some karmic cycles and then coming again so some of you you already know with this cleans energy you both are going to clean maybe something from your past you both maybe uh experience something in the past or maybe one of you is doubting this connection are in a, are very indecisive about this relationship but eventually you will come together okay you, we have a, a loving gaze another six six nine yeah angel number six nine six nine for me it's soul matter twin flame so you know who i'm talking about look at this loving gaze here so there will be a lot of loving gaze i'm getting like you know scorpion energy so this person could have a scorpio placements in their chart or, or you could be a scorpio mm, but there will be a lot of loving gaze like the um, you will know that from this person, the way this person is going to look at you, the way this person is going to see you, think about you, going to act around you like nervous and hesitant. You're going to know that this person has definitely have something about you. Because I feel like in the beginning, uh, there will be something that you both are not going to be clear uh, you know, about something. Or maybe this is you, you're not sure, like you can trust this person or not. Let's keep moving forward for more we have a cleansing wow wow what a reading you know look at this trust me i did not know it we have the cleansing coming twice yeah so i feel like there will be a lot of cleansing needed in this relationship and i'm also seeing the moon cycle again yeah the feminine energy is is like really um doubting maybe pushing and pulling you know type of relationship push and pull we also have the lemon here so maybe there will be some type of a um magic involved here or some type of a people who are putting them some type of a spell or trying to get in the way of your relationship because there is a cloud here and there's a night here so there's definitely i feel like it could be one of you is coming out dark night of a soul like you both are coming out of some type of a you know um spiritual awakening um some type of a deja vu going through a lot trying to learn trying to experience um because there's a risk taking here with the 9000 energy too in this relationship there's a risk taking maybe you could be from a and religion is definitely playing a biggest role here your spiritual your culture your belief system um it is really playing the role here biggest belief here but i feel like the faith will bring you guys together and destiny too for me 9000 is a destiny it's like you met someone you know like by destiny by by there's a reason here okay we also have the 25 so the, either you are 25 years old or this person okay there's a lot of cleansing here and we also have a clean so yeah i feel like uh maybe you will meet and then you will take some time and then come back again that type of relationship also i'm picking up here now keep moving forward we have the anchor yes sagittarius another nine wow we have the nine of heart anchor and we also have the crow so you could be seeing a lot of birds or crow we have 35 so you could be 35 years old. Anchor is definitely talk about Sagittarius. It's about something serious, long term. This is someone that you're going to stay for a long term partnership with. This person, you could be have a Gemini or um, a Sagittarius axis or, or twin sisters. You know, this is the, sorry, this is a twins, uh, sisters, um, Azotic signs because they're opposite, first and seventh house, Sagittarius or Gemini sun moon are rising i feel like your moon are conjunct with this person because i'm getting the moon energy a lot like so your moon may be conjunct with this person or there will be some type of a your um your moon placements are falling in this person somewhere placements like 12th house or 9th house like there's definitely something um in the beginning is like not clear deception we also have the birds here so maybe um there could be a gossip or there could be some type of a news here you maybe will talk to each other a lot, maybe on online or social media. Again, there's a water here. I'm picking up ocean. You maybe met this person on some type of a trip or, you know, like, um, you know, like ship, you know, or something like cruise. 
when you're traveling somewhere when you're doing something or maybe this person have something to do with the you know like this type of a business um but yeah anchor is definitely talk about something solid long term um you both are going to stay together no matter what whatever the situation is like you're coming together we have a wedding wow the situ this situation involves marriage yes so i believe this is someone that you're going to get married with you have a strong potential to get married in a long term partnership with this person i was picking up it already so maybe that's the, the confusion okay like where this relationship is heading where it's going this is definitely someone who is going to stay in a long term partnership with you i told you it's a wedding anchor something serious commitment marriage involved here serious finances and career okay so maybe in the beginning there will be some issues about finances and career someone is settling down someone is still not sure someone is trying to plan or invest somewhere so they're going to take their time but they will eventually or maybe this is you you're going to also maybe meet this person through your finances and career now another thing we have a girl talk yes so you're going to talk to this person and we also have the bird so you're going to talk to this person about your friends you know to to your friends about this person our friends and family people will know your close one people will know that you are dating you're together you're moving in um for some of you you will meet this person when you are moving on you're definitely coming out of some type of a situation ship because i'm seeing two kings so you maybe have a choice and you're going to choose this person whoever is entering in your life and you're going to get married with this person we also have a having fun living in the moment yeah so for some of you in the beginning you will go with the flow with this person you're not even about a serious you know you you maybe going to talk to this person are you going to meet or date this person like just to for have fun just to getting to know this person maybe you want to forget someone maybe you're getting out of some type of a situation maybe you have been single for a long time and now it's like the romance is knocking at your door so you definitely going to talk to this person a lot i'm strongly feeling like you're going to talk a lot or text a lot because it's giving me the long distance type of relationship here okay so this is the relationship that's coming into your life this person definitely have a strong sagittarius gemini placements could be fire sign could be a earth sign but i'm also picking up cancer energy strong cancer from you or from this person but there's definitely a moon cycles here okay like um hot and cold or push and pull type of relationship in the beginning or maybe you are not going to be sure in the beginning or this person is not but eventually you're going to stay together because i can see that there's a long term potential here for the future okay now ask the any question about this person and this relationship and i'm going to get the answer here from the spirit okay from this answers of books and then i will move towards charms let's go um i i'm going to count 3 1 2 anything is in your mind about this person this relationship or 3 let's see you don't really care oh so yeah i feel like in the beginning you're not going to care about anything um you will start maybe as a fun or maybe you you're not going to care about this person tradition or culture or religion or something because there's something going to be more here and for some of you I'm picking up this person could be coming out of a relationship or marriage too and you're not going to care about it because it's it's about this person past it's not about you because you're going to see this the future with this person okay you're going to worry about your future okay so i don't know what does it mean with you you don't really care but eventually it's like it is going to be in your favor okay now i'm also going to see that when this relationship is uh, maybe going to blossom or when you are going to be with this person if you already know them then it's like you're coming together um and others of you if the, if if you are single you don't have anyone because i believe that this could be someone that you maybe already know it's hard and cold because there's a moon cycles here and deception could be confusion or misunderstandings but finally you will come together eventually now let's see Let's see when this relationship is going to blossom or when you're going to start. We have a Saturday. Okay? So search for joy, stay al stay alive. Yeah, I feel like some of you you're having fun when you're just being single, you're not dating anyone, you're not looking for anyone and that's how you're going to meet this person. Because it's definitely eventually it's like meeting the right person at the right time. For some of you, and others of you maybe you already know. So number 10 could be important or 7 or 17 date is important. We also have a Scorpio. So this person could be Scorpio or Aquarius or maybe in a Scorpio or Aquarius season. You maybe already met this person in a Scorpio season or some of you it's Aquarius season and that's coming in the next year, okay, new year. So number 11 could be important or 8, okay? Are these dates are important? I'm also picking up winter season is very important. So wherever you live, winters are very important. You're going to play the important role here. Now let's see any charms or things that's going to remind you of this person or anything. about this relationship that we need to know we need to know we need to know okay so let's see 
so we have H E he okay so some of you this is definitely a he okay it's a guy or you could be we also have a I R I'm hearing her by for some of you it could be a by this person could be into both we have a rib so this is definitely going to be a very strong connection here between you and this person Ria or Bia we have a A and we have a E ah uh, yeah so yacht something with a yacht here pub I don't know what does it mean we have a pub um I bear I'm hearing BP uh, or DP we also have yeah DP now DM I'm hearing so maybe this person is going to reach out to you in your DM Dia we have a E Egypt I don't know yeah we also have this you could be a black couple does not have to be look at this so you're going to be very very in love with each other focus please yeah, you're going to be very, very in love with each other. Look at this texting, mobile, call. Yeah, so there will be a lot of texting, messaging, calling. We also have another moon and with a with a cat here. So yeah, so some of you, you're definitely could be a witch. Uh, you maybe practice witchcraft. You maybe practice um, tarot, reading, divinations, any type of a tool. So you may be definitely going to spell, you know, spell this person. Like I'm not saying that you're going to put the wet spell. It's a left spell. Are you going to attract? You're going to manifest. And this is someone who's, who's definitely the answers of your manifestations or prayers. Uh, we have a willpower, yeah, and we also have the luck, yeah, so this is definitely going to be uh, a, ro a romantic connection, it is going to be uh, fall, you're going to fall for each other, and this is going to be a long term, because I'm seeing the ring here, so it could be soul contact here between you and this person, yeah, a lot of positivity needed in this relationship, we also have this this uh, girl dancing, so this you could be a dancer, or this person could be, are you going to dance a lot, like with happiness, with a joy, because you met this person, um, we also have a fix a heart so either you are broken or this person is broken or maybe this person could have addictions of drinking for some okay we also have the unicorn here so this is going to again the horse here is definitely represents Sagittarius strong Sagittarius placements here this person okay um, and that's why they are adventurer and they're they're open-minded and they're traveler so that's how you're gonna meet this person we have a unicorn this relationship is going to be very special like a dream come true a magical for both of you okay uh, I'm also seeing the sex will be very good between you and this person. The, the romance, uh, you know, intimacy, wow, is going to be off the chart. Okay, we also have this this um, clear quartz crystal here. So uh, your relationship is going to be just clear, like clear, this clear quartz. Like everything is clear between you and this person. The misunderstandings in the beginning or when you will meet each other, everything is going to get clear. Okay, so this is your reading. Gonna see you later. Bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome if you choose this beautiful golden this big ass um, key welcome on your reading this is beautiful okay so I don't know why I'm getting like people gonna say that you you won the lottery for some reason you're gonna be very lucky in this relationship we will know okay we will see that who is this person that's coming into your life and your relationship um, I'm gonna use Intuit Oracle's card the link is given below 20% discount you're gonna get um, special discount from my link that is given below if you want to you know purchase it I definitely recommend it for pick a card readings now let's see what's more about this person who is coming towards your love beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so so your qualities you don't like are also your own reflection oh uh, so this is someone who's going to be your mirror okay like a mirror soulmates if you believe in that or it's a mirror like someone that you're going to if you like this person the qualities of this person then definitely those qualities are in you or the things that you're not going to like in this person also the qualities in you so it's like this is someone who's going to be your mirror wow so i don't want to go there it's too easy to say that right now but let's see i know people got offended that word but giving me a karmic vibe the karmic vibe is definitely for a reason. We meet our karmic partners for a reason. They come us in our life for a lesson that we need to learn. We need to heal those things that these people that come with the karmic contacts in our lives is show us a mirror. Okay. So for me, it's not a bad thing, but sometimes it is a bad thing because if we have, if we are wounded as a person, as a soul, we're definitely not going to like the other person. We're going to hate them. Because we don't want to face our those wounds, okay? We don't want to see the mirror, okay? So sometimes it's now there's a warning here before you start this reading. Watch it on your own risk, because I'm from your first card. It's talking about your mirror. So anything that I'm gonna talk about this person, 
the weaknesses are strength it's maybe it's in you okay and maybe you got triggered and you don't want to hear it you don't want to like it i don't care about this because for me when i see readings or if i'm i'm just you know like doing the readings i don't get triggered because i know that there's this this thing is in me and i'm working on that right so maybe you have to see the situation or this relationship as it is even though if you don't know this person or you're going to meet this person, this person is definitely going to trigger some things in you that you need to heal. That like this person is going to show you the mirror. Let me tell you. And it's not easy. Okay? Now we have the distorted masculine. Here you go. So trust me, I did not see the cards and I don't know. This person could be in a bank or police. Or maybe for some of you, this person could be have a lot of loan on their um, yeah, debit. They have to pay a lot of debits. This person have a lot of responsibilities. This person could be gone through a lot. This person could have a history with a bank or police. Um, or maybe this is these are the two uh, places that this person go a lot in a bank or police. Or they could be literally working there in a bank or police. Now, um, okay, I also feel like this person maybe experienced something. Some type of a tragedy happened with this person, I feel, in the past, okay? So maybe this person is still paying some type of a debit or... I don't know there's a lot of things here now let me see who is this person that's coming distorted masculine this is definitely someone when i see the distorted masculine for me it's like maybe this person is not an action oriented type of a person it could go in a, both ways either this person is very distorted and they, they do things in their own way like they're, they're being very selfish so i'm talking about okay uh, or this is someone who is not going to take anything like they're not going to take action they're going to take their time they're going to take their time in a pro procrastinating that they will think a lot they're going to think through a lot so yeah either way this is going to piss you off obviously because it's not easy to deal with these type of people now we distorted masculine even though if this is a woman here she could be like very controlling she could be very dominating she want the things in her own way so you both could be the people want the things in your own way you both could be have some type of a distorted things in yourself in both of you maybe the distorted masculines i feel like is there okay this person could be a leo for some not for everyone let's see from the uh, now more here i don't want to give the negative impression but we are starting from this like you're going to trigger each other a lot you're going to maybe push each other buttons that maybe you're not gonna like it i know some of you like oh i don't want to date it um oh this is sound like my ex or this is someone it's okay still it's like you mean you meet these type of people for a reason because they come up and show us some error here we have a third house and we have a not no destiny okay so this is someone you can't escape okay now you like it or not not note it's a destiny it's a fit will bring you guys together you met this person for a reason, if you already know them, who I'm talking about. And others of you, this is someone that you're going to meet for a reason, okay? We have an art note, destiny. You're going to cross the path for a reason, and we have the star. It's a destiny. It's it's architected by above, heaven, universe, God, angels, whatever you believe in, spirit, okay? So I feel like you both could be totally opposite from each other, or maybe you both have the same thing, same issues. So that's why you will come together, and you're going to mirror each other. So you're going to bear this person... <laughs> You know, they say that everything is possible in love and war, right? Everything is possible in love and war. So because there's a love here, this is a love reading, and you're going to love this person, and they're going to love you. So you're going to bear those things that you're not going to bear normally in any other person. For example, this person going to push you off, you know, like they're very late. For example, if you're going on a date and this person is very late and you're waiting, you're waiting, you're texting, you're calling and this person is late and they're going, oh baby, I was so busy because my car was there and I was in and just stayed in the workshop and, and you know, like the whole day you just was waiting there. So why are you waiting? Because And why are you not pissed off? Because you're going to bear, you're going to be patient, right? Because you love this person, you like this person, you want to be with this person, right? So that's the same thing. So this person is going to bear you up. You're trying to control. You're trying to manage things in their own way. And they're going to accept it. They're going to they're gonna not say anything because they're going to say yes because it's you. You understand me? You're going to understand me, okay? You have to understand because I'm talking, this is a very mystical type of reading. Um, you know, intuitive and psychic type of reading. So you're going to know that, okay, what I'm talking about. So what I'm saying, this person and you are going to bear each other. And you're going to be patient with each other. Normally, you're not going to bear this thing with anyone else. You got me? Yeah. Because this is this person. You know? So this person is special for you. Or you will be very special for this person. Because this relationship is special. 
okay that's what we're reading now i'm also seeing it is not node here so for some of you you may be already met or this is a fate so when you will meet this person or you're going to cross the you know you know like path path with each other so this person is going to remind you of something or someone um this is also someone that who is going to bring i told you with the star it's a healing so trigger you so you're not you you this person is also going to be the part of your growth because that's what the north node is it's about growth it's our it's our evolution where are we going where are we heading uh what we are, we are why we are here to do things karma our dharma so there's a lot of things this person is going to mm, play <clears throat> wait a minute yeah and um yeah, that I was talking about. So there's a development here. You're going to practice a lot of things. You're going to be nurtured. You're going to experience a lot of things with each other. But there is definitely a reward of this, this all patience or practice. Um, there will be a blossoming time. You will come together. It's a star. It's a destiny. You know, it's a fate that you will be together. We also have a third house. So maybe in the beginning, the communication will be a problem between you and this person are, are going to play a biggest role here. I don't know. I feel like communication will be the key between you and this person this is also talk about third house talk about our perception our mind because it's ruled by gemini right so this person could have a gemini placements anywhere we also have the sports here um so this person could be in a sports or art uh, we also have the you know telecommunication it's about uh, media i don't know so you maybe met this person um through these type of things like you know sports art or, or maybe media um we have a speech uh, through social media so maybe you're going to interact with this person on social media or if you have a, any platform on social media this person is going to contact you there or you're going to meet each other through that uh, we also have a dating okay so it could be a dating apps um could be through siblings for some of you your siblings are going to play the role here are you going or, or maybe you know this person's siblings are close to this person's siblings we also have a research maybe through study education could be through like you know short term type of a short distance maybe this person could be in a li live in a different city you know near your city not far away but definitely uh, near your city or around your city there's also discussion social this person is going to be a social person um or you both will be social after this relationship i feel like the communication will be the key between you and this person one of you could be in an art other of you could be in a sports or are definitely talking about this media telecommunication technology okay technology maybe in it i'm also seeing bank and police so i don't know this person could be uh travel a lot from one place to another also like you know now let's see let's keep moving forward here to see we have the spring is going to play the biggest role here we have the new moon yes spring into action new beginnings fresh excitement rejuvenate yeah i feel like this is someone who's going to be the fresh breath of fresh air for you you could be a dancer or this person could be you maybe have a social media account or this person could be so you maybe see this person every day or you are this person gonna see you or perceive you you're going to interact with this person also we have the man here okay so this person could be 28 years old or 23 or 38 you are the current person you know a person you know a boyfriend fiance spouse love and trust masculine energy yeah here you go so this is the man yeah this is your lover this is someone who's going to be a man, your spouse, a loving trust. This is someone who's definitely going to play the biggest role. We have an ace of cup here. This could be literally a new person that you're falling in love with. You're about to meet. You don't know who this person is yet. And others of you, you maybe know it, but you never fell in love. You never dated. Okay? So you maybe know, interact with each other or know each other. Okay? Through social media, through siblings, through people. Or, or you get interacted with each other. But eventually, you will come together because it's a destiny. Now, we also have the fixed, the middle. No, now is not the time. So maybe, uh, so some of you, you could be a dancer. This person could be middle of the season, purpose, driven, secure. I feel you, you're not, you're not, you're not supposed to know this person yet. Or you don't know who this person is yet for some of you. The next card came up is the grass uh, hopper, leap of faith. Here you go, another A. So maybe this person has a double A in their chart or in their name. Sorry, chart, I'm saying name. This person is going to be very easygoing. Don't worry. Moving on. Prosperity. So what? A change in direction. Birth of a son. A luck. Okay. So some of you, this is someone that you are going to have a son with this person. So this is this is someone who's going to be your spouse. You have a destiny. Or you maybe already have a son with this person for some of you. Okay. This is someone who's going to bring a lot of good luck in your life. So maybe this person could be very famous or popular on social media. So they're going to give you the platform. They're going to give you a chance. They're going to give you this... Um, you know, I feel this is someone who is going to maybe help you through something. 
are going to interact with you. Like you go maybe going to collaborate with each other, are going to interact with each other, but you met each other not in a rom romantic way. This love is going to blossom with the time. This is also someone who's not going to be your like ideal type of person, so you're not going to even think about it like you can date this person or thing, but eventually you will fall in love because your compatibility, your chemistry, your understanding will be a lot with each other. Keep moving forward, calling in your soulmate. Yes, so a lot of you, this is your soulmate. I told you it's a mirror. You're going to mirror a lot of things each other. Stay optimistic about your love life. So I believe that some of you are, most of you, you're single. You're not dating anyone. You don't have anyone. You may be gone through some type of unrequited love, you may be tried dating, you may be tried in a relationship, or maybe you're just single by born, okay? So this is what you're calling in, your soulmate. Stay optimistic about your love life because this is someone who's going to bring a lot of positivity and healing and recovery. And also, it's not like they're going to trigger you or piss you off. You're going to have a great chemistry. Your mind, your perception is the same, okay? You think alike, same thing. You both could be from the same field. You both could be, if, even, even though it's like this person is going to understand you, like what are you doing? What are you up to, Okay? We have a separation, we have a sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of our future. So this could be someone that you are coming together, like in a, in a union with. So you could be in a separation with this person right now, okay? And they're going to communicate with you. They're going to talk. They're going to come back into your life. This could be also someone who missed the chance with you, with this distorted masculine, or you missed the chance with this person. But this is your soulmate. You're going to come together. We also have an ideal romance. I told you, number four, this is going to be your ideal romantic partner that you ever, you know, wanted, prayed, fantasize about. This is also someone who could be 34 years old or 35. Life path number five, three or four, maybe for some of you. Uh, this is also someone who, uh, yeah, again, th this is someone who's going to be maybe a model. Like this person could be, you know, act for some type of a brands or model. Could be a singer, dancer, because I can see that. This person definitely going doing something on social media. Or they, they maybe have a social media, like very like a social, social life, okay, for some. Um, we have the warrior of love. Here you go, giving me Aries vibe. Okay, so this person could be the warrior of love. Yeah, they, this is definitely giving me a fire sign vibe. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But this person could be a water sign too, like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Like they're very, it could be Gemini. Yeah. There could be an age gap between you and this person, like four to ten years or three years, for some five years. Um, you look at this, this person maybe do horse riding, okay, are they maybe into it? This is someone who's a warrior of love, okay, so this is someone who's going to fight for your love, fight for your attention. They're not going to give up on you. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're mean to be with this person because we have a not note. This is destiny. This is also someone who may be gone through a lot of, uh, of experience, like they may be gone through the same experience like you. In the relationships, we have a purification. So them and I, Gemini and I coming again, 41. Yeah, so this person could be 40 plus. Or you could be 40 plus because I'm seeing purification now. Yeah, this is definitely talking about healing, recovery, purification. This is going to be a very easy going and like taking the leap of faith of type of relationship. This person is going to take the leap of faith on you. Because there's a not note here, it's a destiny here. You're meant to meet this person. Or this person believe that you are the one. Like, you are this person, the part of destiny. You met, uh, this person definitely is going to be your spouse. You will have a kid with this person, especially a son. Or you maybe already have a son or kids. I don't think so. I believe you're single. Um, and, and some of you with the separation, this is someone that you're in a separation with. You're not talking. You're not in a no contact situation. Or let's say that... Um, this person could be coming out of a separation. For some of you, this person could be coming out of a separation. Yeah. Oh, my God. Rider. Yeah, this is literally a rider here. We have a nine of heart. This, this could be someone that you had a crush on. You like this person. You adore this person. This could be someone that you're adoring. You're liking. You're liking this person's picture, social media account. You're talking. You're crushing. You, you may be adoring or admiring. This person could be your inspiration for some of you. Yeah, giving me the now, definitely giving me the vibe of um, crush or someone that you like, okay? And they're going to fall for you. It's like, look at this. We have the rider and rider coming twice. So there's definitely something with the rider. Either you are a horse rider or this person's a rider. The warrior of love. It's like, yeah, and she's holding the letter here. So this is someone who's going, you keep maybe sending the messages. You keep talking to or this person is going to keep talking to you, keep sending you messages. And finally, they're going to make a move. Yeah, number one, 11, 10, 11, definitely a soulmate, one. This person could have a life path number one, too. 
I feel like you both are going to reflect each other. A lot. Yeah. The next card is a confident. Yeah, this person maybe wear the glasses. Yeah, this is someone who's very confident, giving me definitely an air sign and fire sign vibe. Like Aries, Leo, Sag, especially Sagittarius placements. Could be Leo, could be Aries, and with this confident, could be air sign like Gemini is coming a lot. This person could be a Cancer for some, I'm picking up. But they're very confident, okay? This is someone who's very confident. They're very confident in their look. They're very confident what they do, what they're doing. Um, um, this is also someone that uh, you are going to, whatever the, the work they do, I feel like whatever they do as an activity or hobby or the work, I feel like you're going to do it. You're going to also ha the ride the horse for this person if this person is a horse rider, okay? I hope you're not riding anything Oh, mm, you, know, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. <laughs> I feel this is going to be a very sexy and hot and confident type of relationship, like... This person gonna like you confident maybe, or this person gonna like you, this person gonna adore you. This person will have a lean body, they're gonna not that much taller, I, I'm not seeing it, okay? They're not much taller, they have an average height. But this is someone who's going to be your man, your lover, your fiance, your spouse, okay? You're gonna adore each other, this is someone that you're gonna, cr you go, you're going to have a crush, you're gonna like, you're gonna adore, you're gonna talk to this person. Or this person will keep crushing on you like your for some of you it could be a fan moment like you you you're going to be this person fan or this person is going to be a fan something like that if you have a social media account but definitely this person it from th three different fields i'm picking like ev eventually could be from art or sports or could be on social media like i'm picking up could be an influencer or even literally could be in a bank or police i don't know Let's see when this relationship is going to blossom. Look at this, 11 days, 11 weeks. Another 11 is coming. Yeah, so this is a soulmate. This is your divine counterpart. We have a calling in your soulmate. So you're calling this person in. You're going to travel with this person a lot too. Yeah, 12 could be in a 12 days or 12 weeks. 11 or 12 could be very important or month. You know, we are already in a December. So could be you already know who this person is. Or maybe within 11 or... 12 days or weeks for some of you it's definitely happening very soon six days or six weeks very happening very soon could be next year you will be with this person okay let's just get ready if you're single you're not going to be single so now think about any question about this person i'm going to ask from the book of answer think about any question about this relationship or this person okay and i'm going to ask from the book of answers one two and three absolutely not oh my goodness so whatever the question you have in your mind, the answer is absolutely not. So you know better what you asked, okay? And you got the answer from the book of answer. So let's go, let's see it now from the charms, and then I will move towards another pile. For some of you, I'm hearing this person could be overconfident, okay? I don't know, I was, I, I, I heard it, so I think I should tell you. Now, let's see. We have this angel wings. You could be a spiritual um, person. You could be a tarot reader, light worker, healer. You could believe in spirituality. You could be a model. You could be an actor. Okay. Um, this person is definitely going to see you like a princess or going to call you a princess. You will also will have a baby. I feel spirit is also going to guide you about this person. We have a dad. Yeah, this is someone who's going to be the dad of your kids. Yeah, if this is a man, this is going to be the dad of your kids. Or maybe this person is already a daddy. Okay. Wow. The daddy. Hmm. Uh, something with a dad here, okay? We also have, so maybe this person is going to DM you. Look at this. This person could be on a high position. TMI, T, tear. So maybe this is someone that you cried for. Are this person going to cry for you? We have a great. Damn. We also have the E. We also have this spiritual ass wing. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a very spiritual connection. You will be divinely guided. Universe will guide you toward this person. Because again, it's a, it's a destiny. Yeah, spiritual. Again, this person could be Indian or you could be. This person could be Sri Lankan. Um, because from a Sri Lanka, I don't know. We also have the elephant. Let's talk about long journey, long distance. You have been waiting for this person for a long time. You are go also going to get married very long. Like after a long time. Yeah, we have the guitar. So this person maybe have a guitar, play guitar, could be a musician or music, make music, sing, okay? 
something with the music we also have the heart with the string so there's attachment here okay so some of you if this is someone that you are not in a contact with this you're in a separation this person is missing you thinking about you this person could be also posting some music things we have the key so you have the key to this person heart are you going to unlock the connection here with this person yeah we have a r we have the goals this person could be very goal oriented like very consistent they're focused on their career we also have the spider web stuck in something situation or places we also have a line i love new york taxi so maybe you will meet this person in a new york or go with this person in a new york taxi maybe this person could be a driver we also have this uh, yellow stone so talk about uh, positivity stay positive we have the fish yeah you will have a kids with this person resources maybe you're going to meet this person through finances or work or business or this person is going to bring um some type of a platform i'm going to offer you something to do with him or her we also have this uh, leaf here so maybe something falling something is like being positive there's a growth here also with this, this person find the joy in the journey we also have the dancer either you're a dancer or this person could be yeah so that's your reading like share and subscribe i'm gonna see you later bye hello group number three welcome if you choose this beautiful key i'm gonna show you this is the key that you choose you picked welcome who is coming towards you in love who you're going to date or fall in love with next your next relationship let's see someone special let's see you choose this pile playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer wow this is going to be a definitely a playful relationship you're going to make a fun with each other a lot you're going to have a good laughter good timing i'm also picking up making memories this person could love language is a quality time or maybe yours you're going to spend a lot of time quality time together making memories together doing little things that makes you happier makes this person happy this person could be indian if this is a woman she could be indian or guy maybe uh one of you could be indian does not have to be you could be from a different culture because i'm seeing this bindi here this this um yeah but um you could be from a different culture does not have to be um or this person could be coming from a mixed mixed race like um their parents you know like could be from mixed okay um yeah this is going to be a very playful relationship okay i'm I'm picking up already let's keep moving forward soulmates ah ah how sweet okay so you're definitely manifesting your soulmates and playfulness wow i told you this is going to be uh, giving me the vibe of like you know like a tom and jerry type of thing like um like you they cannot be t uh, they stay together they cannot live together but at the same time they cannot be together no this is not going to be the example great what i'm seeing here is that you're going to have a fun with each other a lot you're going to experience little things you're going to enjoy little things you're going to make the memories together at the same time you will stay together with each other you're going to support each other in your dreams and helping each other grow evolving as a person so this is going to be a very beautiful connection i'm telling you already i can already imagine or i'm seeing and visioning like how this relationship is going to be like like going to be very playful like everybody know that you're dating you're together like um you will be the couple that people will know that um it's 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 different it's 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 impossible to separate you both okay you both are inseparable even though you're alone doing your own stuff this person go everybody knows that you're dating like they will ask you about your partner like where where is he where is he where is she like why are you not together because they're going to be surprised like you're not together doing something together you know wow this is going to be a great i can feel that this is going to be a, a relationship that you have been waiting praying and 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 dreaming of now let's keep moving forward who is this person we have a pluto transformation oh my goodness we have a capricorn the boss yeah here you go okay <laughs> oh god i love capricorns okay so so yeah this is someone who's going to be a capricorn and um, this person could have a pluto in capricorn does not have to be pluto is definitely ruled by scorpio so they could be have a strong some scorpio or capricorn you could be a scorpio or capricorn couple also does not have to be pluto it's not easy this is going to be um not a easy um i'm not seeing something problem between you and this person uh this could be a pluto talking about because it's talk about renewal it's about inner resources about some type of a destruction you can see that it's just something happening on the planet right so either 
Okay, so I'm getting... Uh, this could be like a forbidden fruit type of relationship. For people, for society, it's not normal uh, that they see the couple like you. Okay? For example, this is like if she's Indian. I'm giving you an example. If she's Indian, this person or this guy is a Muslim. Okay? It's impossible. Indian, yeah, you know, like Muslim and Hindu will be together. Or let's say Indian or, you know, like... Um, Something like that, okay? So there's something, uh, or let's say Jewish and Muslim together, like Jewish and Christian together. I don't know, there's something in your culture, in your religion, it's forbidden. It's not easy. It's not normal. It's not normal. It's definitely unusual type of relationship. It's not usual. It's unusual. Something um, extraordinary. Um, you know, defeating the odds here also. So, but you will make it because I feel like your relationship is, is like, you, you both will know that, your soulmates. Wow, this person going to stand up for you. Oh my God. Um, we have the Pluto. Okay, so this could be also talk about status. Maybe there's a status difference, but I mostly feel this is a culture a difference or religion difference. It's something that's in your, in your family, in your culture, it is going to shake up. Like everybody will be like, what? What are you talking about? It's impossible. It's not going to happen. Like you have to fight for this connection. I'm not seeing that you're fighting together. Are you missing a, It's like there's a problem between you and this person. No, there's no problem. Problem is, is between your family, your culture, your country's um, tradition or status. Because it's definitely, Pluto is definitely, it's like something that is need to be transformed. It's evolution. It's revolution. It's a taboo. Look at this. Taboo. It's something, um, uh, it's also going to, on an extreme level. Like, people will that, say that you are being selfish because you're, they, people going to talk to you. Like, you're selfish. You're just thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about your family. You're not thinking about your tradition. You're not thinking about, you know, a lot of things. You're going to hear a lot of things. There's also obsession here, I feel, with this Capricorn. If this is a guy, okay, that, and you're a woman watching this video, this person is definitely going to be obsessed with you. And this person will know that it's taboo. So this person is going to step back, and they're not going to do anything until it is going to be mutual. This is someone with a Capricorn. They, this person maybe literally look like this. They could have a dark skin, darker complexion. They could be, um, you know, um, high -tipped. Like this person is definitely going to taller than you. Uh, this is someone who's going to be very serious, authoritative. This person could own the business, could be an entrepreneur. This is someone who's going to be a boss, a leader. They have a leadership qualities. Um, this is someone who's going to be very disciplined, consistent. Maybe you're gonna like, no, you're not going to like it because you're gonna be totally different from this person. I think you will be the Pluto here. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, oh God. <laughs> I like it. I love it. So you will be the Pluto uh, in this person's life. Like you're going to shake up this person's life. They were not expecting, but they're going to fall in love with you. They're going to be attracted to you. And the moment they're going to see you, at the moment they're going to fall in love, they know that it's not easy. <laughs> because it's a taboo. It's something that, or whenever, this could be literally your boss. Like some of you, you could be working under this person and they're your boss. It's because there's something that is not normal. People are not going to accept it. I'm talking about people, okay? Normal society, people, your family, your friends. Everybody will be shocked. But who cares? Your soulmates, okay? Mm, and this is someone who's going to be very disciplined, consistent, and serious. They have a routine. They have a life. They know what, what are they doing. They, they, they plan things, you know? But you will come like in this person's life like a Pluto. Shake up life. You're going to go with the flow. You're going to think with your own way. And this person is going to like, what the hell? I like it. Or you could be vice versa. You could be very disciplined, serious, um, authoritative, uh, bossy, uh, leader type, a badass type of a person. And, and this person could be, uh, you know, totally opposite from you. They're going to bring transformation in your life because there's something that is not normal. It's out of the routine. It's out of the uh, comfort zone. Uh, and um, that will be you. Now keep moving forward because I like it. Mm. I'm using Intuit Oracle's card here. Link is given below. The special discount, you can get it from my special link that is given below. So definitely recommend it. Let's see what is in this Oracle's card here. So we have the Moose. Hmm. Imposing, powerful, independent, time alone. Yeah, this is someone, okay, confident. I told you, the boss. This is a leader. This is a leader, okay? 
this is the team player the leader of the team the leader of something they could have a leadership qualities they're the boss this person does not listen to anyone if they're choosing you this is their own decision and they're going to stand up for it because i i believe this is someone who's going to be very serious you're going to know that this person is not playing with you okay you're going to know it he or she whoever it is especially it's a he okay it's a masculine energy it's a very masculine energy this is someone you know that they're not playing they don't have a time to play and we have a a so and, and this person life but it could be nine or a it could be in the letter we have the crow here you go another a 22 there could be 20 new 22 or maybe um 29 or 30 years old or 31 the next card is the queen of air aquarius here you go so if you're aquarius yeah you're totally opposite you could be aquarius or capricorn couple or scorpio or aquarius or scorpio or capricorn i don't know aquarius or we have Aquarius, Scorpio, and Capricorn very standing up here. So you could be this queen of air, Aquarius, the star. Yeah. So you could be a healer, light worker. You're the star. You could be literally a star. You could be famous. You could be popular on social media or this person could be. You could be very eccentric. You're very different. You're unique. You're going to stand out in this person's eyes. And that's why they're going to they're gonna look at this. They're going to like, who is she? If this is a guy, okay, if this is a guy and this person is keep working on their own thing and routine in the life and this person going to, you know, like take a break, look at you and like, who is she? Because you're different. You're the star. You're, you're eccentric. Yeah, I feel like your relationship is also going to be eccentric, different, taboo. It's not easy. Okay, so some of you, yeah, you could, this person could be Asian or you could be Asian. You, you literally look like this. Okay, and this person could be black. So you could be totally different from each other. Yeah, I feel like you're from a different race, two different race, culture, religion. It's a taboo. It's, it's definitely not easy. It's not, it's not a normal thing for people to see a couple like you every day. Uh, there will be some type of, a, you know, um, some type of a differences, okay? Like status difference or something. We have a crow here. It's definitely talk about memories or remembering, mystery, magical power. So this is going to be a mystic or mysterious type of relationship. You may be going to keep it secret. You both are going to hide it from people. Uh, this is an omen, okay? So when you will meet this person, you're going to know, you're going to get the signs, symbols, and synchronicities. Or this person going to know that you are the one. This is someone who's going to also observe you. Look at this. Because you can see that. This is someone who's observing. So this person will keep an eye on you. Observe you. Like what type of person you are. Um, they definitely want to get close to you. Okay. If, if, if you are not on a social media. So maybe this person is on a social media. So you will, you will look at this person. You will follow this person. I don't know. And this person will definitely notice to you. Okay. This could be literally your crush. Um, but I don't know, but there's something a taboo here, something, um, but your soulmates, okay, do not worry about it, do not worry about anyone, your soulmates, you're meant to be together, you are meant to be together, because there's a playful connection here, you may be, this person could be very serious, and you're going to be very playful, so you could be different, you could be eccentric, you could be very playful type of a person, okay, and this person is going to like it, because you're opposite, it's giving me the Pisces vibe also, so you could have some strong Pisces placements, this is someone who's very like, I'm, give, I'm getting a water and, and earth mix, okay? Like opposite attract. It could be f water and, uh, no, earth or air, okay? Like opposite, something like that. You're totally different, okay? Um, let's keep moving forward because there's a lot of things we need to see. We have a balance, yeah. So you are balanced. You're yin and yang, soulmates. You are a perfect balance of each other. Okay, so this person is serious and you need this in your life or, and you are very playful and this person need that. So yeah, that's what you, you both are going to add in each other's life, okay? So for example, if you are a serious type of person, this person is going to be very playful. You're going to be different, okay? Remember, different. You're opposite. And that's what it's going to be like a perfect balance. Like you both need each other in, in each other's life, okay? But you will be, I feel like, make a great memories together. Little things. You're going to enjoy little things. It's also giving me the song, you know, little things. Worth waiting for. You have been waiting for this type of a person or, or offer for a long time maybe. And we have to make the effort. Yeah, I feel a great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Okay, so this is definitely divinely guided. This person is going to take um, their time. And finally, they're going to make the move. They're going to let you know that they are into you or they're going to ask you out. Okay.
make the effort this is someone who's going to make the effort i feel they will they will tell you you will know that this person is into you or vice versa like you're gonna know you're gonna tell this person that you're into this person something like that keep moving forward we have the dragonfly you could be seeing it crow moose um and this dragonfly a lot maybe uh, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light adopt change or heal yeah so i feel like you're not going to force it you're going to allow and this is going to naturally flow yeah, this relationship is going to naturally flow you're not going to force it it's just going to happen naturally the chemistry between you and this person is outstanding totally diff you're totally opposite and that's what bring you a lot of balance Keep moving forward. We have the memories and remembrance. 26. So this person could be 26 years old. Or you could be. We also have a 22. Love's secret. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a secret love. <laughs> I also feel that this person is going to keep it secret for a while. From you. Even from you. You're not going to know that this person is in love with you. This person likes you. Okay. Because they're going to observe you. They're going to. I feel this person is going to keep an eye on you and observe you. Before they're going to make their move. They're going to take their time. Because your chemistry and your things, it's like, it's very adoptable. It's very like you are adoptable. Like you're very type of, like you're very easygoing, but in center, you're different. Like this person maybe never dated someone just like you before. Uh, or maybe someone from your race or something, you know. So you're different. You're different from others, and that's what you're going to stand out in this person's eye. I'm telling you, this is not someone who's, who's here to play. They're very serious. They're, they're, they're all busy in their work, making their money, making their work, their life, their routine. They have a, this is someone who's going to be very serious and goal-oriented. But there's something that you are coming in this person's life and this Pluto, like transformation, like you shake up this person's life. They were not even looking for love. They were not even expecting to fall in love, but they will. This is like divinely guided, okay? It just, it's just going to happen. We have a love secret. And we also have memories and remembrance. You're going to make a lot of memories with each other. Um, you will also spend time together. That is going to be a secret. Like nobody knows that you're talking. Even though, look, for example, if you are dating, okay, this person is not going to tell about their friends and people, okay? Like nobody, even though, for example, I'm giving you the example. Now listen to me. Like if you are in the office and you, for example, I'm giving you an example, but it could be real. Like this is your boss. You're working under this person. You're dating. Nobody knows because you are going to act normal. Now, if you're following each other and your friends on social media, people will be like, okay, they're, they're just following each other. But no, you're going to talk to this person. You're going to comment on this person's post or things. And this person is definitely know that you're special, but they're not going to act like that. You got me? So this is that type of relationship. It is going to be between you and this person only. But also, 22 or 26, maybe this person, 22 a lot. Look at this, double two, double two. You're going to see a lot of two twos. So it's definitely talk about balance, soulmate, harmony. We also have the courage. Yeah, here you go, number 13. So this person definitely going to courage and have a strength to approach. And I'm also seeing the sword here. So make the effort. This is someone who is going to take the action first. If this is a guy, if this is a masculine, this person is going to find this courage and strength in themselves. And they're going to make the effort and they're going to tell you that they like you. I feel this person is going to fall in love first. They're going to like you first. They're going to notice you first. They're going to have a crush on you first. Or they're going to like you first. Yeah. If this is a guy. I'm talking about guy. Masculine energy. We have the key. You got the key and you have the key already. 33. Yeah. Th there's definitely a lot of angel numbers here too. Yeah. 33. We have the key. And we have this rose here. So yeah. Opening the door for love and romance. It's coming. The key. You're going to unlock the door. You're going to open this person's heart for love and romance. I think this is someone who was not looking for love. But they're going to fall in love. Wow, it's really beautiful. You know, when you're not looking for... That's the true love. When you're not looking for love. But the love is knocking at your door. And you fell in love. This is that type of, you know. But this sort of love is also need a lot of courage. Because you both are going... It's like the courage is going to test. It's, a, it's definitely going to be um, your test. Your test will be in this relationship is going to be courage and strength to fight for this connection, to stand up and to not lose up and to not give up on this connection because people definitely not going to approve it. Especially even your loved one, your family and people. They're not going to approve it. But it's like you're going to, you, you, you both are going to understand that. You're going to know that what is this all about, okay? Now let's see when this relationship is going to blossom or you're going to know. Are you going to meet this person? Some of you, I feel like you already know who this person is. But I think maybe things did not start yet. 
because this is someone with a pluto it's not easy you know that this person is going to you're gonna uh, bring some type of a soul awakening in this person or this person is going to bring something in you there's definitely this is going to be a very uh uncomfortable type of um soul awakening or realizing like deja vu like this is my person i want to be with this person but it's not going to be easy four days or four weeks for some of you uh, it's too early we have a, maybe in aquarius season number 11 could be important or 14 yeah maybe in a month 11 days or weeks a month maybe maybe next year new year or within a four days or weeks maybe you will meet this person we also have a nine days or nine weeks in life pattern it could be 11 9 or 4 yeah some of you could be in an aries season or you could be aries or aquarius couple does not have to be now let's see you have if you have any question about this person in this relationship i'm gonna ask from the book of answers three one two three a year from now it won't matter oh oh okay yeah, I think so. This is a new year. Like, whatever you are going through right now, this is someone new. Like, this is someone that, yeah, I think you are, you're about to meet. Some of you are about to meet this person. Or you may be already know who I'm talking about, okay? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Letters. Wow. Look at these sweethearts. Yeah, I feel like it will be sweethearts. People will know that you're, to, you're together. You're inseparable, okay? When you're together, people know that, okay? That's what I'm picking up here. This is that type of relationship. We have a SA. So this person could be from a South Africa. Or you could be, we have a SA. We also have a E, C. Okay, so C. So something maybe with the water or sea, ocean. This person live there. Maybe West, I. View, I'm hearing view. We have a B. Bi. This person, you're going to call this person your bi or something. We have R. Rest. This person going to, a lot of rest with you if they are very workaholic. Capricorn energy is like that. This person could be very workaholic. Gain, I'm hearing gain or good night. Messages. Bin, win. You're going to win this person or this person going to win. Win. I'm also saying the wife, this person is going to wife you up or going to call you wife. I don't know. Doctor. So some of you, this person could be a doctor. Rigid. Yeah. X for some of you. Rigid or X. We also have E. Die. We have a six of cups. You will be soulmates. Some of you, you will have marriage and kids with this person. Six of Cups definitely talk about harmony, balance, friendship. It's about past. It's about reminding of something from past. So maybe you're going to feel like soulmate connection with this person. For some, this is your soulmate, obviously, because you're calling in. We have a Z. Zest for life. Sweethearts. We also have this clear quad. So your relationship is going to be very clear to you, to both of you. Yeah, I feel like heart and key love you yeah you will love each other you will adore each other nobody come between you and this person but there will be i told you like a taboo type of a thing here we have the police so this person could be in a police or military or army we also have the rose this person gonna cherish you this person gonna admire you your beauty the way you look the way you dress look at this i told you this person will have eyes on you first they're going to fall for you first. They're going to have a crush on you. Are you going to have a crush on this person? Yeah, this is someone who's definitely, they, they, they will be in love. Like you will know that this person is in love. Yeah, we have this scissor. So this is the cutting the card or cutting things. We also have a kiss me. Wow. We have the two birds are kissing soulmates. Yeah, you're coming together. Like everybody, I'm hearing lovebirds. Like people will know that. That you are the lovebirds. Yeah, we have the skull, Scorpio maybe. Uh, in a Scorpio season, we have a Ten of Cups. Yes, you will You will have a family. You will have a kids with this person. Yes, there you go. Your families will know. Y your families will know. You are the love birds. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of love here between you and this person. Like, everybody will know that you are love birds. Okay, you are loving each other. You just love each other. Nobody can come between you and this person. So I feel like eventually you will have a family. You will have kids with this person. And your families will definitely accept it. But it's not easy. It's not easy. You have to stand. And there's a lot of courage and strength needed here. So this is your reading. I'll see you later. Bye.